Hey guys, welcome to yet another niche research video. The first three months of the year are full of different holidays and events around the world. So Q1 is one of the most popular and profitable times of the year for selling self-published books on Amazon KDP platform. In this video, I'm going to give you my top eight no content book niches for Q1. I also have an honorable mention at the end. Make sure you don't miss it. Okay, first of all, I keep saying Q1, but let me explain what I mean by that. So Q1 is short for quarter one, which is the first three months of the year. The first quarter of the year, meaning January, February, March, have few of the most important and prolific events throughout the year. Okay, let's start with first month, which is January. Okay, so on 1st of January, we of course have New Year's Day. And for the first week of the new year, bucket lists and 30-day challenges like diet tracking notebooks or 30-day budget planning logbooks are super popular. Obviously, you need to prepare these books in advance on November or December to have it up and running for January. But if you already have some books that you created previously, now is the best time to go back and review to see if you can reuse them. And maybe they just need some small changes to cover to be suitable for 2022. The second event is on 26th of January, which is Australia Day which celebrates the achievement of Australia throughout history. Mark this day on your calendar for showing love to your Australian audience by creating a special Australia Day coloring books or even simple Australia themed notebook. Before we continue, if you enjoyed this video so far, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, moving on to the month of February, the whole month of February celebrates the black history and it targets all people around the world, not just US. In this month, coloring books and motivational blog books themed around black community are very popular and have a spike on sales. Let me show you an author that has lots of books in this niche and all of them are very popular. As you can see, all of them mainly targets black community and all of them has lots of reviews. That means they have decent sales. The second most important event on 1st of February is Chinese New Year. Your target audience will be people around the world who follows the Chinese zodiac. Each year is assigned one of the 12 traditional zodiac animals. 2022 is a year of the tiger and is something you can incorporate into your marketing campaigns. You would think it would be easy to create a low content book like a coloring book or kids activity book in this niche. But in fact, because all the symbols and colors has a specific meaning in this festival, you need to be very familiar and knowledgeable about it. So I recommend getting to this niche only if you're 100% familiar with the culture. Okay, let me show you some samples. We have quite a few coloring books themed around Chinese New Year. If you look inside, most of them are just zodiac signs and also symbols of Chinese New Year, like dragons and lanterns. Aside coloring books, you can also make maze books, word search themed around this topic, or even activity books for kids. We also have books similar to this one. This one is technically not a low content, but if your native language is Chinese, it should be fairly easy to create. All you need is pretty graphics and knowledge of the language. As you can see, it's just the name of the colors and something that represent that color. Okay, the next one is very fun and easy to create. February 9th is National Pizza Day, so you can target pretty much everyone with this niche. If you have items in your store that are pizza themed, this is the time to promote them. Notebooks with pizza covers are the best item in this category. Okay, the next niche, which is probably the most profitable of all is Valentine's Day on February 14th. This day is not just limited to a specific country and is almost celebrated around the world. 
you have a lot of options when it comes to the type of the book you can create. And my suggestion is to think out of the box. Don't limit yourself to couples and you can encourage your audience to celebrate all kinds of love like friendship and other meaningful relationships too. Just to give you some ideas of what you can make for Valentine's Day, let's take a look at a few books. My first search is Couples Notebook. The reason I search for couples instead of Valentine's Day firstly is because of the number of competitors and as you can see here, we have 10,000 results here, whereas if I search Valentine's Day Notebook, there are 70,000 books in the search results. But more importantly, I wanted to remind you to think out of the box and search for different type of keywords related to your niche. Okay, now that we got this out of the way, let's take a look at inside of one of these books. This one is a guided journal with one question per day. It's an ideal gift for couples and if you choose right questions, you can use the same interior for a guided journal for your mom, your dad, friend and other type of relationships. For our second sample, I search for a love coloring book. For the same reasons I explained before, I'm using different keywords, not just Valentine's Day. There are lots of great books here, but there are a couple of them that really caught my eye for different reasons. The first one is this one. What I like about this book is that targets on teacher love, just like this one with the title of Black Love. The second one is this one. If I show you the interior, you can see it has a very simple interior. It's motivational and inspirational sayings with some patterns around it. I think they made a very smart choice about the interior. First, because the coasts never get old, so they can sell the same book of years and years without making any changes. Second, the interior is simple yet fun, so it can attract all types of audience from teens, adults to seniors. Okay, moving on to the month of March, the first event on 8th of March is International Women's Day. This one is also one of those bigger ones with high competition. The only tip I can give you is don't just focus on women. Try different roles of women in the world. A woman can be a mother, a teacher, an aunt, grandma, a sister, and so on. If you're a newbie, start with a simple notebook or logbook like this one. The interior is plain notebook. If you have some experience, try different coloring books or guided journals like this one. Our next event on March 17th is St. Patrick's Day. Your target audience will be people of Irish descent, especially in the United Kingdom, Canada, United States, Brazil, Argentina, Australia, and New Zealand. St. Patrick's Day is a celebration of Ireland's heritage and culture that usually involves parades and festivals. Once again, the two common books for this niche are notebooks with relevant covers and coloring books. Our last niche, as an honorable mention, is UK's Mother's Day on March 27th. Your target audience is obviously the UK market. Read special notebooks, code coloring books, and guided journals for this special day because every mom deserves to know how special they are. So that's the nine most popular Q1 niches that I wanted to go over today. If you wanted to know more about top five low content book niches that makes at least $500 per month, click on this video. And if you want to check out my playlist, click here.